Hello everyone, how are you today? Oh wait, let's just go over here and click this thing. There we go. Alright, now you should be able to see what's going on. Frame rate doesn't seem too bad. I guess we can start. Anyway, Scythia wants to talk to us. Messy, messy! God damn it, Facebooky! Also, I'm here. You didn't, you know, say anything, but I'm here. Hi. Hi, everybody. That's Space Monkey. We're in Fatal Bullet, a Sword Art Online game. Apparently, oh, we're going on a date again. Do you need to talk about something? Master! Also, I like the goggles. I don't know why. Just like the goggles. It's because they're goggles, Space. You want to go out? Isn't the two of us, like, on a date? Let's go. Master, I'm always here to help you, even when you're on a when we're on a date. Is there anything you need from me right now? Uh, can you think of more dates we can do? Wow. Uh, error. Please wait while I process this sentence. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> You've got it. Just about everything that my master likes. So I'm sure I'll come up with some dates you'll enjoy. Oh no. A few hours later. Um, Master, so I uh, talked to Asuna as well. God damn it, Asuna! Uh, she explained to me that the real world normally you only sleep in the same bed with another per with another person when you are really, really in love with them. Master, I have to ask, is that why we're feeling embarrassed? You were feeling embarrassed? If that's the case, I think I finally understand. <sighs> I wish you would say something sooner, Master. Oh, oh that's nothing. Master, the fact that we've been sleeping in your bed together, and it's made you feel embarrassed. I, I think that's a very good sign for a relationship. That's why I'd like to keep sleeping in the same bed with you from now on. <laughs> is, is that okay? <laughs> oh, thank you, Master. I feel so happy, in fact. Not even just that. I think... I feel a little... I think I feel a little embarrassed too. As soon as explanation makes so much sense. Oh my. Oh, I feel really excited but nervous at the same time now. I'm not sure. I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> uh, you feel the same way too, Master? We're, we're so alike. <laughs> I feel really satisfied. After all this, I guess it's what happiness feels like, huh? I've come to the conclusion I need to buy more memory. Oh? Yeah. I'm only using half of my memory slots right now, so... Mm. Right now my bottleneck seems to be memory, and nothing else. Ah! So we're sleeping with an AI! Hmm. There's nothing artificial anymore. Wink. What do we have? We have all of these subquests. What do you think, Space? Should we do the subquests or should we just get on with the story? Oh, hold hey. on. There's people to talk to outside. To the Glocken! Spielen! Schmagen! Hagen. What? Mm. I don't know. Mm. What it? What? What? Oh. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, you can see the similarity between the uh, the big spire there and the crashed ship, right? Yeah, I guess, but still. How do I run? Oh, that's how. Wait, that's who I wanted to talk to. Who are you? Oh, hi, Kerida. I figure we might as well get to it because I can't farm with anybody else until we go through. So oh, I think right, I can. Yeah. I think I can do it, but yeah, soloing this one will be tough. 
Oh, sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I found this hidden quest a bit ago, and I've been wanting to give it a try. The quest description reads, Hidden in the wastelands is fortune's end. There you will find a treasure once worth a king's ransom. I don't know about you, but I can't resist the lure of loot. You've got some time, you want to come? Yes, but just not with you. Disclaimer! I have zero clue what the reward's going to be. The description went out of its way to use the past tense, so maybe the treasure was worth something, but isn't worth squat anymore. Still, who knows, there might be some awesome special event or reward. Even if it's not big bucks, it should be worth checking out. I'd normally just solo it, but this area is swarming with enemies. It's also a prime PK spot, so this will be a heavy combat job. Oh, combat heavy job. In other words, I need backup. And here you are, so... Want a party? I love these coins of quests! I love these coins of quests. Boys, boys, monkey! I love these coins of quests. You sound like fine. I, know. I knew you'd say that. This one's just too tempting to pass up. So let's do it, partner. Don't call me partner. Fortune's End should be around here somewhere. Let's get looking. Wait, what? Fortune's End? This is the same... We've got no clues as to where this treasure's hidden, so if you see anything suspicious, let me know. Well, we could always go to that spot where Klein dug something up. <laughs> this is the sort of situation that makes me wish I'd learned an exploration skill or two. But I always end up taking combat and support skills instead. It's almost like they're more useful as a soloer. What's up? What's that thing by your feet? It's hidden by dirt and ivy, but I think that's an ancient treasure chest. You really are just naturally lucky, aren't you? <laughs> anyway, give that switch a jiggle for me. Let's see what happens. I'm not, I'm not wiggling your dongle. Oh wait, hold up a sec. Did you leave your pants on, young man? Let me do it. There might be a trap, and I can take the hit. Hey, don't worry. There aren't that many insta kill traps out here. Here goes nothing. There we go, it's open. But there's nothing in here but some dust. Is it gold dust? Wait a sec, there's a little case in the corner. Don't tell me this old thing's the treasure. I ain't saying that she's a gold digger. Gold dust. Gold digger. Let's open her up. And... Coins? No, these are poker chips. And they look fancy. Don't poker chip. Uh. Hey, there's something written on the case too. Hey there, space gambler. Why not truck your luck at try your luck at Casino Giga Las Vegas? Space gambler. Yes, this is treasure back from when humans still ruled the stars. Well, it's not like I can go grab a spaceship and zoom off to Giga Las Vegas, wherever that is. Which means these chips are worthless. Maybe it'll come in handy someday. Yeah, I agree. Some people absolutely hate it when games do this, but I don't mind. Sure, the reward was worthless and the effort was mostly wasted, but I always wonder if the next quest will have some amazing secret item or cool story to tell. Of course, most of these quests end up just being a big waste of time. Then again, I don't think this one was a waste at all. We found a space gambler's secret treasure hoard. Truth is, this quest popped up after I hit it big in the casino. I was hoping it would lead me to a mountain of buried credits. But in my opinion, it's more fun this way. We can't split the reward even, so I'd like you to have the chip. Hmm? My reward's the fun! There we go. Oh, sneezing. It's fun. Thanks! I think I like the ring of Space Gambler. I might just start calling myself one. I expect you to take me out on some fun quests as payback. What? I, I did the work. Oh, whatever. Maybe tomorrow if... PK! Hold up. PK? We're surrounded. There's three of them. No, more. I can take them! They might just be your average PK party, or they could be after us in particular. Taking out two ranking players would earn them a pretty penny. Hey, we're ranking players, Space! 
No point waiting for them to tie the news. Let's bust out of here! I thought we were like a ranking player on the first day though. No, we won a tournament on the first day. Something or other. Whew, we made it! I'm just glad none of them had heavy weapons. Oh god, tell me about it. That stupid black hole power. Is that only a heavy weapon ability? It's uh, RPGs and Gatlings. But you got shot up pretty good, huh, Tiberianus? None of them were critical hits, but still. I know watching for the ballistic prediction lines and dodging so that none of them hit a vital error is standard practice. But if you wait until you see the lines, it's often already too late. You should try to predict the prediction lines. I would love to! Big predictions. Kind of like a system exploit, if that helps. It's really not that hard. Yeah, you People look at their target for all. Yeah. People look at their target before they shoot, right? So if you watch someone's eyes, you can predict where they're aiming. Yep, it's true. I know, I know. Everyone's like, oh, come on, that's impossible. But it's really not. You've got good intuition, the greatest luck, and I think you can handle it. Besides, it'd be awesome to have another photon sword ninja like me out there. Already way ahead of you. Hold up. Not again. We've got more baddies. And we were having such a fun chat, too. Think they're friends of the other guys? Oh, I get it. That group earlier was recon. And now the army's arrived. That means these guys are going to have some serious firepower. It'll be tough to take them head on. Let's grab some cover. Except... Figures, there's nothing around to hide behind. Oh, I got it! That treasure chest! It was covered with dirt and ivy, right? We can hide it there! They'll never find- oh god. Oh. We gotta hide together in a treasure chest, space monkey. Yep, he wants to hide with you. Well, this just turned into a harem anime again. You get in first. I know it'll be a tight fit, but we'll just have to deal with it. How about you get in first? <laughs> This better at least have a funny picture. <laughs> just shove him in and then leave. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is where our scouts got taken out. Yeah, I heard a bunch of gunfighter. I bet, I bet Kirito took them out, which means he's close. Spread out. I want him found. Looks like I was right on the money. You saved my bacon this time. My luck is the best luck! Skill and stats aren't all there is. You've got to be able to use limited info to come up with the best solution. And quick. And you've got great instincts. Oh, this could be a porn video dialogue at this point. And you've got great instincts. Looks like they're gone! They said they were heading back to Glocken, so I think we're safe now. Let's finish up our run, then get back ourselves. Even if they're still around, we'll be fine as long as we're careful and stick to places with good line of sight. So back to what we were talking about earlier. Not the predicting thing, the payback I wanted. Well, it's not really payback, but see, there's a lot of quests and places I want to go with you. So, what do you say? Go with your own women! Except Shino. Shino's fine. Ah. <laughs> We're splitting the reward next time. Of course, we'll split the fun along with the profits. Split the single thing. Oh, I mean, if it's an old school coin, you could technically do that. Uh, I'm looking forward to partying up with you again, Tiberianus. I bet you are, because I'm the best! That's a reference to something. I don't remember what. Let me know in the credits if you do. In the credits. Let me know in the credits. <laughs> in the comments! Let me know in the comments for row. Oh, 15 minutes in. Oh, hello, Leafa. You're next. Leafa? Oh, Leafa. Okay. Leafa. All right, let's give this quest a shot. Like, right now? Should we log out for today? It's almost time for dinner, you know? I'm pretty sure Kirito's the one, that's the one that cooks for you, so shut up. Oh shoot, good chat, good catch. And Mom will be home today too. Uh oh, can't let her see you making out. Whoa. Ah, so you are related. Here I thought you were just good friends. Nope, and they're probably sleeping together. Did I tell you I was his sister? Um, I guess not. Nope, 
Though I have to admit, I've never seen a brother and sister get along as well as you guys do. That's because they were almost dating before they knew each other. Huh? So, you're an only child? Er, never mind. I shouldn't have asked about real life. I don't know if I've explained this before or not. I probably have, but Lifa, in the second and or third set of Sword Art Online games, or uh, animes and mangas, whatever you want to call it, uh, at one point, she was seriously considering asking out a character to help her get over the fact that she was hopelessly in love with her brother, Kirito, who is not actually her brother. He's like her third cousin or something. And uh, then she found out that it was Kirito. And she was crying a lot. She was, she, she was, not, she was not happy. So you're an only child? Or never mind, I should have asked about real life. No, it's okay. I trust you guys. Besides, I brought it up myself. I've got an older sister. She's really sweet and pretty much perfect. She's not an only child. Wait, what? Oh, yeah? You better believe it. Everyone loves her. And not just my parents, either. Teachers, relatives, people on the street. Everyone. That's why she's a slut. I mean, what? People always said you were opposites. <coughs> Well, we're still pretty different, but I've got my own things to offer. <laughs> like attitude! And being a bitch! Though I bet it's a little rough to constantly live in her shadow. She has been! She hasn't done a whole lot of friendly, nice stuff. Oh, you're talking Kareha? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yes! Though I bet it's a little rough to constantly live in her shadow. I'm doing my best, though, you know? I try hard at school, I'm in after-school clubs. But, but that I, then I always end up hearing the same thing. Something like, you really do take after your sister, right? Oh, you nailed it, Leafa. Do you get that too? <laughs> nope. No way. People don't talk about my brother like that. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm not perfect. See, he doesn't even try to hide it. <laughs> you guys get along so well. Say what? You don't see what's going on here, right? Or you do see what's going on here, right? Yeah, but it's totally different with me and my sister. I've got to watch my every move so I don't embarrass her. I had no idea. Well, of course, but I've still got problems of my own, you know? Huh, I didn't see that one coming. Say what? Mm. Yeah, sorry, that sounded better in my head. You're always so upbeat and carefree here, so I had no idea. That's the real Kareha talking. Uh, huh? Yeah, I suppose I could see that. <laughs> and a little escape from reality is just one of the great things about VR worlds like this. You can say that again. Kareha never seems further from reality than when she's talking to you, Tiberianus. <laughs> What the hell is that supposed to be? <laughs> That's the weirdest yeah. sentence ever. What? We're childhood friends after all. You might have a point. I know there's a lot going on out in the real world, but here I can just go back to a time before I moved away and just hang out with my friend. You know, I think I finally figured out my purpose in life. <laughs> a childhood friends who takes you who you... Who, who, who. Damn, let's try that again, shall we? A childhood friend who takes you as you are. Now that's something worth holding on to. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for pointing that out, Kirito. And thanks to you, Leafa, for helping me have this little breakthrough. Don't mention it. No, seriously, don't. Oh, God. God, we're at, we're at 20 minutes and she wants to talk more. <gasps> yeah, I think the battle's over. Nice job. Oh, that's you. Oh? Yeah, it's tough for you to say. Adder, please wait. Here. I am loading a sentence. Master. <laughs> nice job, Korea Master. You guys make an amazing team. <laughs> Thanks, but come on. We weren't anything special. No, you really were awesome. You were in perfect sync. You can't fight like that. Unless you really know your partner. Inside and out. Wait. Okay. Who else is here? Uh, hey, easy there. You're exaggerating. 
You two have known each other forever in the real world, right? I guess when you're that close to someone, those moves just come naturally. Oh my. Uh, just to be clear, we're not a couple, okay? We have known each other for a long time, but I don't think that's why we fight well together. I think that's totally it. I know I couldn't have pulled off those team maneuvers you two did back there. Except with Asuna! If that's how it's meant to work, yeah. Your line. Yeah, well, we're gonna need to be. <laughs> even with Kirito's reaction speed? Yeah, I doubt I'd even be able to do it with Asuna or Sinon. Wait, what? Uh. I'm having trouble believing it. Honestly, I don't really get what the big deal is. Oh my. Visual novels, ladies and gentlemen. You couldn't see it, but I turned to look at the recording. <laughs> Your line? Don't you think it's wonderful how you and Master are so intimate, Kreha? Uh, hey! Phrasing! And I think it's nice that we're close, but... well... Oh, I just remembered something! Tiberianus, have you checked with that enemy drop yet? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> what the?! Wow. Why do I get the feeling we just got a sex toy drop? <laughs> wow! It's incredible! Inc incredible? It's a super ultra rare, uber rare item, and everyone's been saying it's almost impossible to find! Hey, congrats! Oh, this is so unfair! We finished it together! Why is it only you who gets the nice item drop? Because I have 50 luck. What, what was the item drop? <laughs> You're lying again. A printer D jammer. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and read your line. <sighs> it seems that old GTO is abuzz with a rare piece of equipment Master got. <sighs> ah, Master, even got interviewed by MMO today. Two, and the headline was Super Lucky Player Gets an Uber Rare Item. Wow. Someone's a big shot now, but it's not like I wanted it anyway. So I'm not jealous or anything. Oh, shut up, you Sunday. Yeah, I'm not jealous. Or anything. Really? I was positive you were dying to get your hands on it. <laughs> Why do you say that? What is it? I better actually get some super rare item out of this. <laughs> when the item dropped, you, you couldn't take your eyes off it. Wait, I was? I mean, no I wasn't. Oh, here you are. I'm glad I found you. Hey, Kirito. Reha, I've got news about that rare item you've been after. Apparently, it won't drop where you guys found the last one. My guess is they're trying to spread out game resources. Hmm. Huh? Reha, you've been grinding for hours every day, hoping to get one, right? I asked Asuna, and we've been gathering intel about it to help you. Way to drop the ball there, Kirito! Alright, right, but so far we've come up ball. pretty much empty-handed. Um, Kureha? Ugh, Kirito, you insensitive, stupid jerk! Why don't you have to go and blab about that in front of them? Huh? Eh, what, what, was I not supposed to? <sighs> Sorry, Kureha, I didn't realize you were trying to play it cool. No, I, I should apologize to you. You were just trying to help. I had no right to blow up at you like that. <gasps> Is she overcoming her Sundare tendencies? No. Well, I should have asked first anyways. So, shall we call it even? Uh, mind if I help? No! I most certainly do not! I'm gonna find it all by myself! You got one, so can I! 
I have the luck. <laughs> Buffering. Kreha? Why uh why are you being like that? Master volunteered to help. That's not the issue here. I need to do this thing myself. And I certainly don't want or need your help, okay? So what was about that thing about overcoming Sundre tendencies? Look, she she's trying. That that's the important part. Kreha! <sighs> Why did I have to go and run my big mouth like that? Obviously, I followed you. I know, I acted like a total idiot. I bet I ruined our whole friendship over nothing, too. I'm so stupid! Yes. It comes with having pink hair like that. It's an actual personality trait of pink-haired anime characters! Kreha, I've been looking for you all over. Hey? Sorry about earlier. I behaved like a total jerk. Don't worry about. Oh, that's you. <laughs> Error. Please wait. I am loading a sentence, but I do know that it starts with "Don't worry about it." Don't worry about it. Master didn't mean it all. So apparently, you don't mind being treated like shit, Tiber. <laughs> Master said that you've always insisted on in doing things alone because you like to be better, uh, like to better yourself. <sighs> now I feel like even more of an idiot and an immature brat to boot. You are. Hmm? Girl talk. Let's go. Master also said that you were really nice people, person. <laughs> you are really nice people. Wait, why did that come up? Oh wow, apparently I had a big school fight. During a big school fight, Master had a long time ago. Oh, that story. I think we were in elementary school. That takes me back. I kicked everyone's ass. Uh, don't tell me you got your arse kicked. No. I doubt it. She helped you. Your master got oh. into a big fight with the class bullies. I don't know why exactly, but I think it was to stand up for someone who was getting picked on. The teacher saw the fight and punished everyone. Your master didn't offer excuses and ended up mucking out the animal shed. Ah, Japanese schools, where the students actually work. See, like, I, I wish I understood Japanese to know what they were actually saying, because the word master popped up there. And then you walked in with a word, picked up a broom, and started cleaning right, uh, right, Kreya? I, I had forgotten about all that. Nanodes? Nani? 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 Really? But you pretty much uh, recited the whole story to me. I meant about the cleaning part. <sighs> I guess I really should stop being so stubborn. I'll let your master help me this time, but only because I'm such a nice person. Oh, ghost. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Space, we're on camera. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Yay! I'll go tell Master right away. Wait a sec, Ray! You don't have to go right now! Go later! Later is better! No! I'd rather do it now! And I'm sure Master will be happy to make it up to you too. Oh my, so pushy! Y you think so? Well, in that case, sure. But let's go together, Ray! Let's do it, Ayanami! <laughs> oh, god damn it! Well, folks, hmm? she wants to talk to us more. That sounds great! They're great! They're great! I haven't seen that ad or, like, the plushies or anything. Anywho, that's pretty much a half hour, so we're gonna call it there, and... Yay? Good night, everybody! <laughs> Good night.